Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sam, and today we're going to do some work to clean up the car a little bit. So, one of the known issues on Hyundai's tends to be the paint. Now, it looks really good, but on the front and rear bumpers, for some reason, it always ends up flaking. The pearl ends up flaking through, and actually, since this car is lowered, whoever had it before me actually must have taken it over some pretty rough bumps right there. You can see there's another one right here that I'm probably just gonna, you know, hot glue back down. But you can see there's a couple different issues where the clear and the pearl even has completely... I went online and got some touch-up paint that is full genuine paint quality. Now I do have two different pens for it. One is the pearl, one is the normal base coat. But also I got a uh, smoother with it to make sure there's no real blemishes with it. So let's get to work. So right here we've got the normal white base coat. This is Hyundai's Casablanca white, which is also known as marble white on a couple different cars. But it is a white pearl metallic and it is very pretty as you can see in some of the other shots I've done of it. But this is going to be the base paint, the base paint pen. Just gonna put some base coat on with the pen. Kind of got everywhere, unfortunately, so I have some on the ground. Now, I didn't end up getting to run this car through a wash, so it might not look perfect, but this is obviously more than enough to help cover it up. There is another end on this one that is a paintbrush, give or take. So it's a bit wider a surface to help cover this stuff now there are you know some pulled up chunks it is plastic for the the front bumper like it is on most vehicles where the bumpers are a polymer or a uh, a uh, polyethylene kind of material kind of like what duraflex uses but yeah you can see it's actually covering it very nicely Yeah, right there you can see it's actually fully covering it. It looks a little bit different paint color wise, just because fresh paint always looks different than dry paint. Now the paint, if it does get on your hand like it did on mine, should still be able to wash off. That's not bad. It's not that bad. It's simple enough to work on. Now there's some over here as well on the underside that most people aren't gonna see it, but I wanna make sure this car looks pretty much as good as I can. It was still, you know, only a like $19,000 car, so you can't expect perfection, especially on lowered vehicles, but I want to make it look good. Now, I mean, I might still put a splitter on under this, and this won't even matter at this point if I do that, but can't hurt to, you know, make it better until then. I'm not gonna fill every single one of them because that would take a very, very long time. But I'm gonna clear, you know, some of these big chunks of it is all I'm getting of this one. And that means after this, um, there's not a ton left I'm gonna do. This is just, you know, basic touch of paint. It is the correct paint color code now, but still. Now, the only time this is really going to make a difference to a lot of people is at events like Slammed Enough Gatlinburg, which is happening right now. Obviously, I'm not there. Hopefully, I'll make it next year. Uh, this car most likely will be done in terms of what mods I'm looking at. So, I've already obviously got suspension, intake, things like that. I'll do a short shifter. I'll do the... Uh, and I'll do some wheels, like I said, splitter, possibly a wing in the future, wink, wink. But 
the car really it has most of the stuff done already on it so it makes it really really easy so that and i need to get the headlight tint done like i've been saying the yellow tint that i bought initially for the bmw two cars ago for me but this paint does dry relatively quickly, thankfully. All right, so I've come back out now. It's been about maybe 40 minutes at the most, but the paint has dried. So that means time for the pearl coat. So it's gonna be the same thing, opening this up. Just putting this pearl on. It pretty much just says apply as much as needed until it matches the paint. So, might as well. Because Hyundai went crazy with the pearl on this thing. So on the front bumper, I'm probably only going to do that one because you can still see it very clearly. But there's a couple other patches, like I said, that I'm going to touch up the pearl as well. Plus a lot of the back bumper. It actually looks like it's coming along pretty decently. Doing the pearl right here. It's obviously going to not be perfect, but it's going to be pretty close. But I'm putting it on some of the other parts where obviously the pearl has chipped away and it actually is almost immediately working on it. So I'm gonna use a lot more pearl on the paint just now than I did the actual paint, just because there's a lot more open spots where I need to do that. As you can see right here. Like brush versus spray on not gonna look exactly the same but it'll do enough for right now before I ultimately someday do take the bumper and professionally get it redone or before I get a different bumper entirely if I can't find one that mounts canards on it And again, this is unfortunately a factory issue that happens with Hyundai Pearl paint and Hyundai paint in general, actually. Or did. I don't know if it still does. Obviously, I don't have a newer Hyundai. This is already an eight year old car. But you can see it's actually it's working really nice to fill in that pearl that was missing. And pretty much it just says add layers until it matches the way it's supposed to. Obviously there are better looking Genesis Coupes out there. This is a very basic one that I've got right now. For the most part, very, very much OEM plus, but not bad at all. I really think these cars are underrated gems. Like I, I didn't know what to expect going in on this on this car but it is it's comfortable it's pretty decent on gas the shifting is nice it's a nice car and they're they're still cheap right now i mean it's not gonna have you know the roar of a mustang or something like that but it is definitely good and you can see right here where the pearl i did put on and it actually is matching pretty nicely for the most part right now 
But now I've just kind of finished up doing the gloss. You can see it's still drying on little spots like here on the bumper. And obviously, you know, maybe I should have washed it down a little first, but this is pretty good for first try. I think I got all the parts that are, you know, readily visible. Little nicks in the bumper, stuff like that. Other than right up here, I'm noticing. But I'm going to touch that up right now. And that's about all I'm doing with this one today. But I'm going to end today's video here. I'm going to be doing some more work on that car. On my, my uh, 2015 Genesis Coupe. To get that thing looking, you know, just about perfect. But if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Do all the good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. But till then, bye-bye.